Come with me, if you will, for a few moments whilst we look in depth at two of my most favourite and most useful pieces of studio equipment, the super clamp and the magic arm. Magic arms are exactly like a human arm, except of course they're magic. They have a hinge in the middle, like an elbow, and a ball and socket joint at each end, like your wrist and shoulder. Each end is a standard spigot size, so that anything that attaches to a standard spigot can be attached. And they also come, if you look closely, with a female screw of both tripod sizes, so things can be screwed straight in. The entire arm is locked into position and then loosened by tightening the large knob in the middle. Now, strictly speaking, what you see here is a variable friction arm, not a magic arm. Magic arms tighten and loosen by swinging around a big ratchet. The problem is they tend to break quicker than the more sturdy knobs, so I prefer these versions. Don't worry though, everyone calls them magic arms, only geeks like me know the difference, although now so do you. Their use is really limited only by your imagination and the basic physics of supporting anything out on an arm. They are fantastic for positioning lights into awkward places, or cameras with the additional use of a camera platform. They can of course be twisted around into any position you choose simply by loosening the hinge and then locking it back in place. Now here Jake is just moving the light around on a C-stand for convenience, but you can imagine how useful this magic arm would be if you were trying to position a light way up in the rafters, or in a spot where placing a light stand might get in the way of the shot. Just bear in mind that the heavier the thing you're supporting, the less stable your setup will be, but that goes for everything of course, and do make sure to lock the knob nice and tight when you're finished and you're in the right position. Super clamps, sometimes known as K-clamps, are often sold as part of a set with magic arms, but can be bought separately. They are very simple, but hugely versatile. They're just a set of jaws that clamps around something, and a female spigot hole which can be locked. To close or open the jaws, simply rotate the handle on the back, to attach a spigot or similar, simply insert and then tighten the screw on the back. To release the spigot, you'll need to press the release button on the side and then unscrew. Bit of extra safety there. You can close or open the jaws the slow way by simply turning the handle, or the smart ass speedy way by holding the spring loaded jaws in place and then spinning the handle round. Much cooler. Now, these jaws will of course clamp round anything they can fit round. They also come with a little insert allowing them to clamp down better on flat surfaces and this insert can be neatly stored away around the rear screw when you're not using it. Uh, you'll still lose one within a few months but you can't say it didn't warn you. There are two types of handles you can buy, there's a ratchet and a non-ratchet version. Get the ratchet version if you can as it's much more useful. The ability to pull the handle out and rotate it from a different angle can be invaluable if your clamp is jammed up against something. The ratchet even contains a female hex screw, so you could even stick an allen key into it and tighten it that way if access was a real problem. So around on the bottom is the attachment for a standard spigot. Now since this is universal of course, it means the clamp will fit onto the end of a flag arm, as well as on the top of various stands. Anything that has a standard spigot fitting will go up there. Of course, that means they'll also fit on the end of magic arms too. The spigot can then of course be attached to anything else that takes a standard spigot, such as a light. You can see here how a super clamp and spigot can be used to rig lights up above the set in a studio and safely out the way. This is such a neat, easy and secure way of placing a light that I use it all the time, uh, even to add an extra light to the same stand. You don't even need to use the spigot attachment to use the clamp. Uh, I've used a super clamp here to prevent my cable from snagging when I'm shooting tethered. I also use them frequently to add ballast to light stands. Uh, I've added something here called a J-hook, you can guess how that one works, and have hung a ballast bag from it. Super clamps are rated to hold 15 kilos, but as with anything else, just use common sense. Something heavier than this will be okay if it's close to the attachment point and well secured, but of course something balanced further out will obviously be more vulnerable. I don't think I could do my job without super clamps, and since they're only about 20 quid or so, I own several, and I strongly suggest you do too. Well, that was good to know, wasn't it? If you want more of that sort of information about basic equipment and the fundamentals of studio photography, there's a playlist up here, or you can go to photosmudger.teachable.com for a full online course in the like, or my blog at photosmudger.com, which has lots of in-depth blog posts about creativity and the business of photography. Help yourselves.